Hi, this is uh, this was formerly the video known as 12 Tips and Audacity in 10 Minutes. Uh, I got more tips and an update because they changed Audacity to version 2.3.0. So it was time to do a 2018 edition, and I'm not sure what this is going to add up to. Something like 16 tips. I, I'm going to try to keep it in 10 minutes, so let's see how we do. First, thing, first tip is I noticed when I started up and updated 2.3.0, uh, I lost all the tools at the top. So here's tip number one. Get your tools back by going to View. Uh, go to uh, Toolbars and hit Reset Toolbars if you're missing that, and that'll restore things for you. Uh, I'm going to repeat the exercise we did before because I find this is a good one to work with. This is just a recording of a countdown from 10 to 0, and thanks to some comments that were in the old 10, video. 9, 8. With any luck, you can hear the audio this time, so we'll hear what the sound difference is like. Uh, so tip number one with this, when you record something, it's a good idea to adjust the amplification of it. Last time I said use Amplify. This time, I'm upgrading that to normalize. Effect normalize will try to stretch the wave's amplitude up to a reasonable ceiling, and it pre-calculates that to minus one dB, which is minus like one decibel less than crashing through and potentially clipping your audio. Um, you can go to zero, but I would suggest leave a little headroom, and by doing that, the wave just got a little bit better. The next tip is we have a lot of room noise in this, and we default to the select tool. You can hear room noise just by finding what should be blank and listening to it. When you hit play, you get that buzzing sound and it's present all the way through. 10, 9, 8. It's also present through the talking. So to scrub that out, highlight a chunk of that noise and let's use something called noise reduction. Tip number two is effect noise reduction. It's a two-step process. First you have to teach the program what noise sounds like. So you get the noise profile for the selected part. Try not to get any voice in there because you don't want it to distort the voice. And now that it knows what noise sounds like, select the entire wave, effect, noise reduction, and the default values for this are 12 decibel reduction, sensitivity of 6, frequency of 3. I'm going to bump this up to 18 because I know this is a particularly noisy sample and I'm going to say OK. I wouldn't go much more than that. And you'll notice what was a uh, a buzzy line here now sounds like this and looks nice and flat. So we did the job. And hopefully it hasn't compromised the voice too much. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Tip number three, it'd be nice to use that select tool to get rid of leading space. So you can highlight a chunk and hit delete and get rid of trailing space and delete just to clean up the wave a little bit more. So what we have is more signal and less just blank. Tip number four, um, you can uh, zoom in on a chunk of the wave with that select tool as well. Control E will let you zoom in. You can actually see what a wave looks like. This is a nice low amplitude wave, nice sine wave. It's just a little bit of noise in the room. Once you zoom in like this, you want to zoom back. So Control F will zoom back to show you the full recording that you created again. So with Control E, zoom in. Control F, zoom back out. Next tip. We can play around with an additional tool. We've just been using select, but when we split the clip, we can do more exciting things. So to split a clip, place the cursor where you want to split it, go up to edit, look for clip boundaries, and split, or memorize control I. And control I will actually fragment this recording into two separate elements. And then we can start using the additional tools. For instance, this. This is the time shift tool. More on it later, but right now I can, I can change time with this, having denoised it. It plays like this now. 10, 9, 8, 7. So you can change the editing flow, or you can edit the flow of whatever your recording is. And I'll show you another way we can play with split clip as well. This is a little more advanced version of it. I'm going to go back to the selection tool. And if I want to start really manipulating what was recorded, I'm going to highlight a chunk of what was recorded like this, and I'm going to use a variation of split clip under Edit, Clip Boundaries, Split New. And notice the shortcut is Control-Alt-I. When you do that, it not only cuts the clip, it'll also put it on its own track. This is not stereo. This is a mono track that I have here. And I'm going to do that over and over again with Control-Alt-I. So I'm going to take this particular exercise and cut it into a new track for each of those words, elements, numbers. I got caught last time. I think there's, although it counts from 10 to 0, I think that's actually 11 elements that we have. So we should have 11, 11 tracks. And for the last one, you can just double click on a track now that it's been segmented. 
and send it where it belongs. We would kind of like to see these things. All the tracks are still there. We can scroll down and see them, nice and neat. But if you want to see them all at once, there's a way you can fold them up and and lessen the height of each individual track. But make note, you've got a lot of controls here we're going to want to use later. So we're going to have to stretch these things back out again. These these tracks height, the track height is actually variable like this. You can make it pretty skinny, but you lose those controls. But if you want to stack them so you can see them all real fast, use instead of control F to see everything horizontally, we'll use control shift F and it will squeeze them so that we can see everything vertically. Tip number 10, now we can use something like this this uh, time shift tool and we could invert the order if we wanted to. So instead of having it go from 10 to 0, I'm going to just quickly reverse these things. Now here's the other thing you can do is because they're on different tracks we can stack them a little bit like this so they're going to count down a little faster. And that's the reason why you might want to put things on separate tracks is you can just overlap the leading silence and have a little bit more control over these things. Oops. All right. I guess I'm going to move the webcam. Hopefully that does the job. All right. If I wanted to move them all, Control A should select all the clips. Wow, that's another tip. Bonus tip. Control A selects everything in your recording, and I could slide all of these to the beginning if I wanted to, just like that. Now you can you can damage it too by sliding it too far. So I'm going to roll down so I can see. I'm using the wheel mouse button to see where this really starts and finishes. So now I've got a recording that sounds like this. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You get the idea. So we're going to take the even tracks, holding down the control key and clicking in ideally a blank little space of the track header here. I can select every other track, which means I'm selecting every even track. And you'll notice that it's a light blue color in this version of Audacity all the way to there. So you can select specific tracks like this. And what I want to do is I want to merge them down to put all the even numbers in the left ear. So now that I've selected them with control clicking, I can mix them down. And here's your next tip with tracks, mix, mix and render. That takes all the even numbers, puts them all on the same track and really simplifies the work that we're doing. To do the same thing with the odd numbers, another trick, instead of using control, if you want to get them a little faster, click the first track you want to render and mix together, hold the shift key and click the last one. So that selects all the odd number and I'll do the same thing. Tracks, mix, mix and render. And now I've got sounding like this. Zero, one, two, three, four. You get the idea. All the um, even numbers are on the first track, all the odd numbers on the second. And now if I wanted to pan all the even numbers to the left, I could drag this a little bit to the left, 70%. I'll drag this to the right by about 70%. And hopefully what we will hear is evens in the left, odds in the right. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you see in the meter there that it's bouncing where it belongs. Our last tip, now that we've gotten this far, let's see if we can mix this thing down to an MP3 or a WAV file if you like. And to save this thing down as a brand new stereo file, we go to File, we go to Export, and I'm going to try taking on the MP3. The MP3 is a smaller file, and I'm going to call this thing, well, I don't want to save it with the exact same name, so I'll call this Mixed. Alter the name a little bit. If you have the lame libraries installed, this should be easy. If not, you'll get some warnings on how to do this. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, hope that helped. Uh, welcome to the 2018 edition of this, and I hope this helps as many people as the first video did. Uh, thank you to everybody who suggested the improvements, and I hope that we caught most of them. Let's see what you can do. Good luck.